Greetings to all of you at Ghana Telecom University College in Accra, Ghana, from your admirers and staff here in Santa Barbara, California, U.S. of A. We send you congratulations, G2UC, on your second anniversary. It's been two years of remarkable accomplishments. We send greetings to the University Council, which has generated the funds and support you need. We send greetings to a brilliant faculty, of course we, and staff, and we send greetings to the students who are the heart of that institution. And we spend, send special greetings to Dr. Osei Darqua, the magician. The magician who turned a tr corporate training center into an accredited accredited university, respected around the world. I'm Dr. Steve Eskow of GTUC's Office of External Affairs, and there behind the camera filming me is Ms. Sarah Blackman, who's Deputy Director of our office, and who is in process of helping GTUC put its courses and programs online so that GTUC can bring its programs to all those in the nation of Ghana who cannot come to Accra to learn. Say hello, Sarah. Hello. That's GTUC. Sarah. She'll, uh, sh she'll be in Ghana soon, and you can see the real Sarah. This business of moving the instruction that's now in Accra to everywhere in the nation that needs it is part of Dr. Darkwa's vision. The notion that the instruments of information and communication technology and the older technologies of print and video can bring learning and earning to people of Ghana wherever they are and that vision we assure you will be a, a reality soon. So, why should a Ghanaian university have an office in the U.S. and what does it do? Perhaps the key to the answer lies in the difference between a corporate training center which serves one firm, one company, one industry, and a genuine university of science and technology which is committed to the service of a nation and a people and a continent and its people. Ghana Telecom University College is playing and will increasingly play a key role in the transformation of Ghana to a player on the world stage, a part of the global economy, helping to grow its businesses and industries, businesses and industries which increasingly depend on the new communication technologies. It's these technologies that you and your faculty and all the institution generate that provide the education that the men and women of the new Ghana will need. To play that role as a new university, GTUC must be in regular communication with the great universities of the world, bringing their research, bringing their programs to Ghana, and bringing what Ghana has to offer to the world. Let me illustrate our work with a few examples and what it means for GTUC and for Ghana. All of us who have taken courses in science and technology know, know how large and expensive laboratory equipment is. Historically, if you want access to the labs of GTUC, you have to come to Accra. You have to leave your home and your community and your obligations and come to our Quran. If you want to study in the great labs of MIT, you must leave Ghana and you must go to Massachusetts, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all about to change. On September 16th of this year, Dr. Darkwa and staff members of GTUC will spend the day at MIT in Massachusetts, USA learning about the iLabs program. iLabs is a uh, development of MIT which puts its laboratories online 
so that GTU students and faculty will be able to be in Accra or wherever in Ghana there is connectivity and access those laboratories through computers. And more than that, GTUC will be able to put its labs online and make them available to the remote places of Ghana. This is no futuristic dream. It will be available to Ghana very soon. Much of our work here in the U.S. has been with that great university, that's the University of California at Santa Barbara. UCSB is the home campus for a number of Nobel laureates who are on its faculty. One of them, Dr. Walter Cohn, is deeply interested in solar energy and solar lighting and in bringing their advantages to Ghana. He's been to Ghana under the auspices of GTUC and lectured there. We are proud of that connection. Dr. Bowers, Dr. John Bowers, a distinguished scientist and director of UCSB Center for Energy Efficiency, has a team of scientists and graduate students working on the design and the manufacture of a low-cost solar light designed to replace the kerosene lamp, which is a dangerous and polluting feature of so many Ghanaian homes. We intend to arrange for the manufacture of these lights in Ghana and to train a core of solar lighting technicians to sell and service them, creating jobs and income for Ghanaians. Dr. Bowers will shortly come himself to Ghana to meet with Dr. Darkwa and the council and the faculty and, and look at the possibility of creating a Center for Energy Efficiency at Ghana Telecom University College. Another respected U.S. university is Antioch University. The president of Antioch in Santa Barbara, Dr. Mar Michael Maldex,